we specifically decided to let the OCPP 1.6 protocol um, aside and uh, from the very beginning focus on OCPP 2.0.1 because that is unlocking commercial opportunities and just lifts the driver experience to a completely different level. So there are mainly five benefits, I would say, that are really interesting about OCPP 2.0.1. One is it's a native support of plug and charge. It is like a really user convenient way of charging your vehicle. Then uh, when it comes to smart charging, it's like way more sophisticated, uh, way more use cases you can unlock. Um, stronger cybersecurity. As we enter the mass market, cybersecurity will become more and more important. And there is also uh, what is very important is a very granular insight into a charging station components, meaning we can analyze what's going on uh, on the charging station as if you would uh, put a magnifying glass on the charging station itself, which means that you can increase uptime for the charger, reduce the maintenance costs for charging operators, and that's very, very important to also retain your customers. Last but not least, this mega trend of vehicle to grid, vehicle to home, vehicle to building, vehicle to grid, um, is becoming very, very important, and that is only possible with this newest communication protocol. And we're going to be supporting V2G um, next year already in, in the European market. So, um, you know, talking about protocols themselves is maybe not as sexy, but it's just the technology that underpins the elevated user experience, the seamless charging experience or discharging experience as well. Yeah.